Hello and welcome to a preview of Cynthia. Cynthia is a modern software package from Quantel. It is designed for doing high quality stereo corrections. Let's begin by configuring Cynthia. We can set up which CUDA device we wish Cynthia to use. Also where we want the hard drive cache to be set as you can see here. We're going to start by loading some frames. First of all we're going to choose where the left eye folder is and also the right eye folder. In this particular case we're using DPX file sequences. We'll just click OK and the files will now be loaded into cache for us. So you can see there we've loaded them into cache. We have a zoom on our timeline so that we can zoom in to see all of the frames as you can see there. And we have different ways that we can view the material. We can see a left right wipe. There's also a side by side view and a flicker mode. And we can vary the flicker rate at the top right hand side there. Cynthia also has a checkerboard mode for viewing the color balance between the left and the right eye. You can see we need to do some work here. Finally, we have a half mix mode that we can use. A second monitor can also be attached so that full frame stereo output can be viewed from the second port of the graphics card. Now let's start by color balancing the two eyes. As we saw before, they were significantly different. We have a range of scopes that we can use, starting with a YCBCR histogram here, showing the color difference between the two eyes. You can see there that it's quite substantial. Cynthia has an auto color balance tool matching left to right or right to left eyes. As you can see there, straight away we've corrected and balanced out the two eyes. We'll just go back into half mix mode. We also have a vector scope available to us so we can check that the hue is correct between the two eyes and most importantly we have a horizontal and vertical disparity graph available to us. From the background to the foreground of the image there is a total disparity of 40 pixels. Minus 20 in the foreground there, that's in the front of screen and positive parallax of plus 20 pixels there in the background. Now if we want to reduce the amount of stereo in the picture, that is change the interaxial or the box size, then we can do that. We have a value of half in here, so let's just process that. This will now reduce the total disparity in the picture by half, going from plus 10 there in the background to minus 10 in the foreground. If we show you a before and after, there's the before and there's the after. And again, let's just have a look at the before shot. There we are, and the aftershot. We can, of course, undo anything that we do. So we can delete in our process stack here and get back to the color balanced image that we had before. Cynthia can also produce left right eye disparity maps, and these can be exported and used in Quantel systems or third party applications. Another useful tool that many of you will have used is Geofix 2. We have Geofix also available within Cynthia for correcting any geometry errors that you may have within the picture. One of the very powerful features of Cynthia is the variable disparity tool. If I call this up, it will analyze the current frame and present me with this graph. Just reset the curve there. We are now looking at a graph representing the screen plane in the middle there. Just going to put a point there. And the front of picture there, negative parallax, all the way down to the background here, positive parallax at the top of the graph there. Now, if we want to variably adjust this and keep all the foreground stereo the same, we can simply adjust this graph and pull down behind the screen plane. Let's just preview that. And you can see there what we have done is reduce the amount of stereo behind the screen plane and left everything in front the same. So let's have a look at the before, here we are, and the after, there you go. Um, and you can see there that the foreground has remained the same but we have reduced the stereo behind the screen plane and this can be done variably across the entire scene. Once we've finished all the processes, in this case the auto balance and the variable disparity, we can then select all the frames for processing. So now let's just allow those to render. And once that's finished, we can play down the clip out of cache. So let's just play that down. And you can see there that we've got the color balance and variable disparity all processed and ready for export. So Cynthia is a modern software package that allows you to do high quality stereo correction on shots that could not normally be fixed. Thank you for your time today.